our current exhibition is, uh, is the adjunct faculty show, and it incorporates the work of all of our part-time faculty uh, who play a very substantial role in this department. The genesis of the show is I uh, invited uh, our part-time faculty to submit works to the art show, and roughly about two-thirds of them uh, responded and we get a whole range of works, paintings, drawings, jewelry, uh, sculptures. It has a sort of quiet feel to it uh, in that everything seems to complement each other very well and you can come into the gallery and it's, it's, a, it's a really pleasing experience. The title of the painting is uh, Glide and Drift, uh, meaning that the sea life under the raft are, are, are gliding. I mean, they're in control of their destiny, but the raft is drifting. So it's sort of like a, a collision or collusion of, of, of both events. Uh, the painting is one of a series that deals with uh, the boat people. I lived in Miami a long time. I went to school down there. And uh, that is part of the local you know, um, local environment, I guess you would say, the local, uh, the politics of, of the percentage of the people that are living in that area have, have come from a Caribbean nation, and sometimes a hard way, taking a, a small craft, putting it together, and taking to sea, and you know, you can only think of the percentage that don't make it. I have two paintings in the show. One is called Martian Autumn, and the other is Afternoon Fields. These are both pastel paintings done on board. Both of them were done in my studio, uh, Martian Autumn was actually done from a photographic reference. It's a picture of the Delaware Bay Prime Hook National Wildlife Refuge, one of my favorite places to go. Um, Afternoon Fields is a little different because this is an enlargement of a 9 by 12 that I did on location down in southern Virginia. Um, so they're a little bit different in the way that they were conceived and one was done from a small painting, the other done from a photographic reference. My work is about uh, awareness pins, which means uh, these days uh, when you look at the world, every lot of people are suffering from uh, all kinds of disease such as cancer, AIDS, or even uh, depression is a big disease for a lot of people. And I felt for them, and then I thought maybe I should make some piece out of that. It's primarily oils. There are textures in the paint that have to be built from thin to thick. It's basically layered. You're, you're trying to achieve all of those different spaces that exist from underwater to the surface of the water to the raft itself and, and the surface of that craft to sometimes even being a figure over the raft or a bird hanging on the raft. So, so you got to think of, 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 you know, foreground, middle ground, background, uh, but not in a conventional landscape, seeing off into the distant horizon, but the horizon is deep water. So I'm trying to work, you know, that perspective. Both of my paintings have a certain amount of detail. I like to do big shapes, but then I also like to break those down. And I like to have a certain amount of detail in my pictures. And that was a challenge for me when I first picked up pastel, because pastel is fairly thick sticks that we use. We don't use a brush. These are sticks that we apply with our hands. And I wasn't sure how I was ever going to get any kind of detail. I used to do colored pencil, so you can understand uh, how that is so different. This yellow brooch is about the lung cancer. And Personally, my mother has uh, passed away from the lung cancer, and then uh, this is part of memory of my mother. And then this orange color is about the leukemia. And then also this blue color is about the prostate cancer, and then also the red color is about the AIDS. I built three rafts in my garage. I, I actually built these crafts and I use them as models. I have seen the real ones, uh, whether at a Coast Guard station or there's a couple people in Miami that have collected them and, and they've been exhibited. Uh, plus what you see in the, on, the, on, on, the, on TV in the news segments, uh, you know, how they're put together. 
but I built some of these so I can have more control of the lighting and, and be able to you know, paint uh, as, a, as the angle that I need. When I'm doing landscape, um, I don't want too much detail. I find that in order to indicate the texture, it's better to show the edges of something. That you can't capture every leaf on a tree. So you do blocks of color and value, and it is the edge that shows what the texture is. You do that with grasses, you do that with leaves. And that's how um, I get the, the sense of detail when there really isn't that much in the picture. This is not really that people really want to wear it. Some people felt really strange about wearing that kind of brooches, but in some way, I want them to aware of what's going on in the, in the world, and then they can uh, be more alert with that kind of disease, and they can give some kind of um, uh, care and uh, feels for them. And then the disease is not a disaster in some way because through the disease of cancer or AIDS, people can think about how to live or look at the world or their life better way in the end. So that's what the piece is about.